Howdy, this is Gus the Wise. You know, I hate it when healthy me does the grocery shopping and then fat me needs a snack. Howdy, we're talking again about goal setting. How to why we do it. But one thing that that was mentioned about Stevie R. Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is that we decide and we learn what our life mission is and we make a mission statement. And we a mission statement is a complete and concise expression of our innermost values and directions. And mostly we find it. We find our mission statement. We find what's important to us. One way he said to do it, and I've seen some other people say it also in their books, is you think about your funeral. And you think of your friends and your family and people you love coming up and saying stuff about you. What do you want them to say? There's a man of integrity? There's a true friend? That he lived his convictions? That he didn't bend on, on, on what was right? That he, was, that he was loving and kind always to everyone? Yeah, those are the things you want. Then you make a plan and you make it happen. Create a vision that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. You find something that gets you excited about life and makes you want to make something happen. Something you want could be stuff you want. Ways you can help people. You want to achieve financial success so you can bless the lives of all these people around you that are just in poverty. There's going to be poor people always. Get rich and help them. Make a list of all the things you'd like to know. All the abilities you'd like to have. All the objectives you'd like to reach. Then get yourself born again and include every one of your desired qualities and accomplishments in your new program. You decide, you head forward. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. It's never too late to change. It's never too late to say, I'm going to be this kind of person from here on and make a decision and make it happen. So what qualities do we have on our lists that we want to be and how intensely do we want them? So then you think about them and you think about how they're going to bless you and how they're going to bless people around you. And the more you see those benefits, the more you're going to want it. You'll be able to make any changes that are necessary. So hit your like and your share, subscribe to this channel. And make some comments to let us know what you're thinking about and if we can do it any better or what you're thinking, what you want to have happen here. Anyway, thanks for listening.